Hey, Box users. I'm Alex Novotny, Senior Developer Advocate here at Box. X recently released Grok 3, and I'm very excited to show using it alongside our very own Box AI API. Let's jump in. So I already have a Python environment set up here using our brand new Python Gen SDK. If you're interested, you can check out the Box SDK GitHub repo. I have a method here for asking a question about a single file. And in this instance, I'm asking it about a file that is stored in Box that's relatively lengthy and verbose. It's also about a topic that I literally know nothing about. So I asked it in the prompt very specifically. You know, I said it's it's a topic don't really know much about. Parse through it, identify the top five most important concepts, and then redefine them in a way that like a five-year-old could understand. So let's send this off to Grok and see how it does. So that did take um, 20 seconds, um, but looking at the results, it actually looks like it did exactly what I asked it to do. Uh, it gives all the top five most important concepts, I'm assuming, um, haven't read through the entire paper. Uh, and it does look like it's giving me examples that like a five-year-old could understand. So yeah, that's pretty impressive. Uh, let's try something a little bit harder now. So also in Box, I have a few different invoices. Uh, they're all different types. So like in this case, it looks like this. Um, another invoice looks totally different, different currencies. Um, and this one again, totally different format um, in dollars. Uh, and I'm gonna ask it to return a JSON schema that looks sim similar to this. Basically saying, you know, what's the total amount for all the different invoices? How many invoices do I have? And break it down on a per invoice basis. And let's see if it like processes the dates correctly or actually makes this format. So again, uh, pretty quick, um, about nine seconds. Um, and these higher level models, you know, they typically take a little bit longer than just like a quick response, but that's pretty impressive. Um, looking, it actually did do the correct total um, and gave me three invoices, as well as broke down the schema exactly as I asked it to. Um, the one call out I'll just say is it looks like it could use some work on the dates, uh, but that could be easily remedied with a couple of, you know, code swaps replacements. Um, but overall, this is really cool.